Welcome to CAD Master Software. Today we're going to go over um, how to use the wall tool and how to create standard walls. So the wall tool is normally found under insert wall. Uh, you can also put it onto your um, this other toolbar down the bottom here if you want to add it there. I use it for it's just quicker. But you can grab the wall. Um, easiest way to do it is when you're actually drawing a wall, you can actually just drag it, drag line on the screen. If you hold down the shift button, it will drag a straight line. I let go of the mouse, click the mouse again and drag another line. So I can see uh, there's a wall there very quickly. The most accurate way to do it, click on the wall. I want to start here and you always draw clockwise. So I'm going to go for a length. So let's go for 3 meters in that direction and 2987, any number you like in that direction. So you can do things like that. Then you can also go say, um, let's say 1200 at, and then zero is always at 3 o'clock. So 45 degrees is, is up at 1.30. So if I go 45 degrees and then I go at an angle, it's going to go at that angle there. So it's now 1,200 in that, in that direction there. So that's how you can actually draw up a wall. So that's, that's quite easy. From there, there's a whole lot more things you can actually do with that. If you go into 3D, so when you get into 3D, you can see that what the wall looks like. You can see the color of it. You can see it's also invisible from the back. So this is where we can start doing a few extra things in there. Um, so you say grading a wall is actually quite easy a couple of ways. Now, if we double click on the wall, we can then see what it looks like in here. We can also see uh, what it looks like. You can put a, uh, what color you have inside as well. And you'll see, if we go back to the plan, you'll see now the internal lines are pink and the outside line is blue. You can control all those sorts of things. Um, generally, they don't make a big difference, but I quite like using gray. I think they just stand out a little bit. Um, not quite so intense on a drawing. Um, let the cupboard stand out a little bit more. So I quite like using grey. Um, so you can change the colour that. You can change the pattern inside the wall instead of lines like we've got here. You can actually do it, say, straight lines like this. Um, so you can see what it looks like. It just changes the, the layout. So whatever you prefer, you prefer to use. Um, you can also change the texture. So instead of being a yellow wall, you can come in here and say, uh, we can have a pink wall, we can have any of these colours. You can also define your own colour and actually start going through uh, any of these textures here. Uh, it shows you here the RGB colours, um, or red, green and blue colours. So, so I want it to be sort of, uh, you know, this here, a little bit further down here. It's much more like, a, almost like a coffee colour. I want to use that colour for my wall. So now when I go to 3D, the wall looks much more realistic in those colours. And when the light reflects off it, you see the colours change a little bit as well. So it's a much better, you can, so you can quite happily change those colours. And you can also go in and change um, the height of the wall. So you can say the, the bottom of the wall, um, let's, actually I'm going to put another wall next to it. I'll put two more walls in, just to show this. I'll put one more there. I'll start a new one. It says, do I start a new wall? Yes, I want to start a new one. So from the same spot onwards, just so I can show you on the second wall, if I go on the bottom, let's start at... 1200. If we now go to 3D, go back to yellow, there's actually two walls there. So the second wall now is starting at 1200 off the ground. You can also do the same from the top. And let's go to 2100 where it's going to stop. It's only going to go as high as 21. So now you can see that's at 24, that's 21. You've got full control over a wall. Now with the introduction of 10.1, there's now more features in here. You can now do more things with walls. So we go to wall two, so this top one here, so one, two. Uh, I want to say the top of that is sloped. And I go to the end of the wall here and say I want this one to be at 2100. So if I now go to 3D, now see so that that wall now slopes downwards. Um, and you can do that to the top and to the bottom of a wall as well. You can slope the bottom, you can slope between walls. Um, so that's wall one. So I can say wall one starts at um, let's do something silly, 1200, um, and it's now sloped up to wall 2, wall 2 goes up to 24, and the end of the wall goes to 21. So you can see how I've now sloped 1200 to 24, from 24 down to 21. So there's a lot more now you can do with walls. Um, and the next thing you can do as well, there's a whole lot more you can actually do with walls, you can, now, you can curve walls as well. but this interface here is quite interesting. I'll start a new wall again now. Um, so if I just start a new wall here, and I want to go change the colours of the walls, 
um, instead of going into here um, and this, this whole layout, which is a little bit confusing, if you want to actually add pictures to the wall, this just makes no sense to most people. What you can do, and you can do this with a whole lot of buttons, with dimensions, with walls, with text, um, with lights. If you actually right click on the button, and this can be on this menu here or it can be in this menu here, but if you right click on it, it actually lets you select different uh, layouts and different things. You can actually save your own as well. If you want to save some um, text in one of the in the text button, you can write some text in it, save it in here, and refer back to it later on. But what we've done here is we've gone and made a new wall tool for version 10. So if you now double click on create a new wall, now that I've changed it, you can see it's already different. If I double click on that, there's a whole interface now. All these pages here are now different. So I can specify here the wall, what wall height do I want it to be, or I can say just make, make it whatever the ceiling height is. So that's an easy thing to do, height of floor, thickness of the wall, or those things. Um, the color we were saying before, do I want it to be um, dashed? So if I now click on it, you can see the outside of the wall is now on a dashed line, um, solid, oh, plain line, solid line. So you can see how, how thick is this wall. <laughs> How thick do you want the, the dimensions to be? So if you want it slightly thicker than normal, you can actually make it slightly, slightly thicker on the plan. So if I now click off the wall, you can see the outside wall is a little bit heavier. So again, it's much more flexible for you to to, um, to change, and you can also go and start changing the colours just by dragging these lines here and seeing what colours they create. And if you know the RGB colours, if you actually search on the internet for an RGB, you can actually put in um, the colours in here something like that. So if you know the colors, you can put in uh, put in whatever they are and then start modifying from there as well. Um, so that's the lines on the wall. So that's the outside line. The infill, as we were saying before, what do you want? Diagonal lines right, diagonal lines left, um, crosses, and do things like that. Again, what color do you want to display? Um, we can change any of these to whatever color we want it to be. Uh, so we're going to get to into a sort of a grey area in here somewhere. Um, we'll do something like that. That's pretty good. Um, the wall colour. So much easier. I want a solid colour. Again, what colour do you want the wall to be? Um, instead of being, again, if you're not going to know your colours, you can go actually download, um, Google a lot of colour codes from the internet quite happily as well. So you can choose the colour you want your wall to be. Um, if you want it to be actually a texture of some sign, you get I want it to be a brick wall. Um, browse, and, it's, and you can download any image you want from the internet. Um, I can choose a different type of brick wall. Let's choose that one there. Um, and then in 3D, do I show the back of the wall in 3D? Yes, I want to show the back of the wall. So now if we go into 3D, you'll see that we've now got a brick wall. Um, it's solid from the back, it's no longer see-through. So sometimes you want to see through, sometimes you don't. Um, and if we go back into here, you can see the cross hatch and all those sorts of things as well. So that's what you can do with a wall. Um, also, if you want to change the length of a wall, I didn't speak about that, you can right click on a wall and go change length right, change length left. So what you're doing is you're looking front onto the wall. So you can see the, um, the, the side that the cabinets st stick to, so the inside line. Uh, you can see where those little markers appear. So that's on the inside of the wall. If you're looking from this direction here, um, if I want to change length right, this side will extend. If I change length left, then the left side will extend. So I go change length left, and now I make this say 3,500. That other wall moves as well because it pushed everything that direction. Um, you can uh, let's say oh, let's go into here and go let's fill at the corner. Um, let's put in a fillet in there. So I've now got a curve in the corner there. I can also come into here, uh, I can curve the entire edge of the wall, um, you can reverse it, you can rotate it. Um, there's a whole lot of things you can do with these, you can move it to another page if you want, or you can just edit the thing that, we, that we've just done. So there's a whole lot of features you can do with a wall. Um, good luck with walls in the future. Um, thanks for visiting our um, YouTube channel.